Well, the first time I noticed it was when I couldn't bowl and couldn't golf anymore. I got too tired to walk from the cart to the tee, from the cart to the green, and I was huffing and puffing, and I thought, I can't do this anymore. Feeling good? Uh, yes, pretty good. A little like, tired. A little tired. I've got a family that need me, and I thought, my heart beats like it's going to beat right out of my body. I don't like that feeling. It was time for me to do something about it. Are you excited for it? I'm very excited for it. I'm looking forward to have my mom have more energy, just to be not so out of breath and to be who she wants to be for us and the kids. You didn't fib on your, your birthday on that. No. Not 32? No, no, Again. 39. 39? She researched it. She told us, basically, that the procedure was available and that it was not as invasive as open heart surgery. She's a little old for the traditional open heart surgery. That looks, that's classic uh, aortic stenosis. This is an example of what a valve might look like before treatment. So what you can see are bright white shadows, are calcium deposits on the leaflets. Yeah, so we're going to get started in just a couple minutes here. They're getting draped and we'll uh, get going. Previously, the only treatment when you have a narrow heart valve was an open heart surgery. But nowadays, we are doing this procedure with minimally invasive techniques. So TAVR is more gentler to the patient and very low complications. So this has become the standard of care compared to open heart surgery five years ago. TAVR, or transcatheter aortic valve replacement, is a method by which we can replace a diseased aortic valve using a catheter and a self-expanding artificial valve, which is made very long and thin like a pencil, passed through the blood vessel into the heart, and then allowed to expand in the position of the native valve without having to open the patient's chest or use a heart-lung machine. These two doctors are uh, well known for this process. And they explain it so well, there'd be no reason for anybody to go to any other hospital but St. Luke's because they're the heart hospital. I heard that many years. I have no fear whatsoever. I'm not gonna go down, not without a fight. <laughs> She'll feel better as soon as she wakes up. Here's the metal frame of the valve around the edges. So the opening that the blood goes through has increased from the size of the straw to the size of a half dollar. So it's really significantly increased the flow through there. There she is. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine, thank you. Good. Yeah. Your breathing's OK? Yeah, and breathing is fine. Good. Usually, I would walk that far. I would yeah. just fall down. And... All right, I'm just going to have a quick listen here. Uh, everything went super smooth, and she's doing great. You can tell already, you know, she's in good spirits. She's laughing and interacting with everybody. Thank you very much. My Appreciate pleasure. It. I don't feel well enough to do any marathons or any running. But uh, I'll get there. You'll be ripping up the bingo hall. You think so? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>